Okay, we are recording. Do you have a small group? Ah. Taking a few moments to calm down. And once again, come back to ourself. With sincerity, With kindness, we connect to ourself. In a sweet, loving way. Taking a moment to feel the energies that are present into our field in this moment. From a place of non-judgment and self-loving acceptation. Uh, slowly we begin to slow down. until we stop in the middle. I'm breathing deeply. Simply calm and present. Breathing in, we bring up the hands on the side. And put the palms together in front of the heart. And in here, I invite you to take a moment to connect with our heart, in the center of the chest.
with our emotional center. and create a connection with our emotional body. Integrating this part of ourself. I am my emotional body. Accepting, recognizing, unifying myself with my emotional body In this action, we find a greater coherence with ourself. We no longer need to negate, to hide, to lie to ourselves about our emotions. We integrate, we accept all the totality of our huge emotional body as ourself. The emotional body, we see it as a part of ourself so rich, so full of strength, so full of beauty and amazing infinite potential. For this reason, we express the desire for our emotional body to communicate to us in general, in our lives, expressing the willingness to be open, to listen to the information we receive in an open way. with the intention of making the best out of the emotions that are presented to us. Nourishing the emotions that are presented to us and allowing them to flourish into beautiful, pieces of art to inspire us, to motivate us, to teach us, to make us grow wiser and stronger. Breathing in, 
breathing out. We open, we expand. Imagine to be expanding my own emotional body. And again, integrating this body within myself. The emotional body is a fundamental aspect of our being. Emotions are the most direct way for us to feel the qualities of energy. Emotions are between the physical and the non-physical and allow us to bridge, to connect these two worlds, the invisible and the visible world. connecting our physical being to our non-physical nature. We can say that emotions are like a language that we need to understand better Because through emotions, we are trying to communicate with ourselves. Or you can even say your higher self, your inner teacher, is continuously teaching you through emotions. You can even say the universe. And breathing in, we will collect and bring down. So it is very important for us to value, to honor our emotional body, its power, its richness. Allowing ourselves to open to the incredible amount of information that is in there. And so there are, we can say, two specific skills that are important to cultivate regarding our emotional body. And the first one, most essential, most fundamental, is the ability to observe, to stay when the emotion arises 
we practice staying there, not going away, not running away. Whatever type of emotion it may be. This staying is the basics, is the foundation for the development of wisdom. The ability to stay and to embrace. Emotions through time. The ability to sustain our presence within our emotional field without the need of distraction. Of course, we're not saying that we don't want to ever distract anymore. That is not the point. The point is that we want to cultivate the ability, the strength to hold and sustain the emotional information that is being offered to us. One more time, we continue this movement. And open. And we hold the standing pillar with the upper Dantian, sorry, with the middle Dantian, maintaining this state. Maintaining our emotional body. maintaining our presence into the emotional field. Many times when emotions arise, manifest, we don't know what to do with them. And so, especially in these situations, it is important to practice holding this space without the rush of understanding, of rationalizing, of Let's say you can rationalize, but accept the fact that we do not understand, let's say, that we do not understand yet. This space of non-understanding is the space that opens for new understanding and for growth. Of new genuine inspiration and understanding.
and so embracing ourselves even more as an emotional being. We expand this field. We allow these energies to express even more, whatever they are. And so when we hold ourselves in this space, the second thing that we can learn, improve, is our ability to deal with these energies. To allow these energies to transform, to evolve naturally or with our active intervention. to the point when they can really deliver the information that they are holding. To the point where they can really give us, express the true power, the true beauty, the true potential that they're holding. Both if we are speaking about a positive or a negative emotion. And coming in, open and expand out. And so from a place of connection with ourself, with our deeper self, we take the standpoint of coming from a place of harmony and resonance with our true self, desiring, being willing, wishing for things to develop, to move in whichever way it is most in harmony, in resonance with the true self, that I feel that I intuitively feel inside of myself. It is basically forming a commitment to be willing to move, to explore in the direction that resonates to the higher self, even if we don't know where it will go. With faith that it will be worth it. And so when we are in this place, 
we can allow the emotional content that we are experiencing in our consciousness to develop, to move, to express without being afraid of becoming lost or confused in the emotion. with courage to enter inside the emotion. as we know within ourselves that what we most deeply wish, desire, hold on to is what is most resonant, most in line with our personal growth and journey. Because we know that we are coming from a place of sincerity with ourself. we will be able not to get lost into the emotion and to allow it to flourish, to bloom. And to allow it to bring us to our best version. Uh, one more time. Opening up, integrating this faith, this certainty, this rootedness, bringing the hands to the lower Dantian. Taking a moment to breathe deeply. Being connected with ourself, with our sincerity. with this upright starting point.
being present into our emotional field. We choose to improve the quality of our interaction with our emotions. All the emotions that come in, they carry certain informa information packages. And if we simply react to the emotion that arise, it is like accepting terms, conditions, ideas, feelings that we did not really agree to. Because we are so sensitive, we pick up emotions from everywhere around us. And these emotions condition how we think, how we act, how we feel. That's why it is important to work on the quality of interaction with emotions. And when something comes in, leave it space to mature, to grow, to express its fruitfulness. in a way that it can expand us. I would like to invite you to choose maybe one recurrent emotional content that comes to you often in this period. One certain emotion that is particularly present in this period. and give yourself the possibility of exploring inside of this emotion what great potential of growth there is there what lesson what information what opportunity what does it show me about myself allowing this emotion to manifest, to express. We hold ourselves stable on this base of sincerity, 
of pure intention. And we just embrace the emotional content. I'm breathing deeply. We take a moment to imagine and enjoy the vision of the possibility for my expansion that I can access by comprehending, accepting, integrating this emotion, by overcoming the fear of this emotion, imagining this version of ourself We can use it as a reference. To learn how we can be so that we will be able to grow beyond to learn the lesson from this emotion. We can use this image of our future self as a guidance integrating the energy of this future self in our present self. We become more like this version of ourself. This ideal version of ourself. that has the ability to hold this emotion with honor, without suffering. This version of ourself that has learned something more that we are still learning.
Breathing deeply. We begin to integrate what we have observed during this practice. And from now on, even when the emotion will manifest, even if in many moments we may still feel weak in front of this emotion, not strong enough, or not really yet ready to learn the lesson, that is okay, because that is the process of accepting, listening, And also it is okay because we already know where we are going, where this process is gradually going to bring us. So that we can start to readjust our energy field to recompose, to grow, to develop into that direction with time, with patience with the right time that feels resonant, that feels true, that feels correct. And in that moment, we will be able to honor this emotion, this lesson with gratitude as it has allowed us to become our new version. Breathing deeply we begin the closure process. Integrating this faith, this trust, as we are massaging our abdomen, this trust in ourself, in our process, and trust in our true self. Our guide. Our point of reference. that makes it so that we can never be truly lost, even when we are very lost. And change. Slowly closing the circle on the lower abdomen. We rub our hands. And as we will massage ourselves, we continue to integrate this 
faith, this trust in ourself. When you have finished, you can bring the feet together. And with a lot of appreciation for the infinite wisdom that is carried to us through our emotional body. with great faith in our ability to hold the emotion, to observe, to be able to accept and grow. With a lot of gratitude Humbly, we close the space of practice. <laughs>